Today we're going to discuss chipping or rolling your ball using a hybrid or a fairway wood, five wood, three wood, seven wood, one of those, one of those clubs, instead of chipping it or putting it. Now why would you do that? Why would you need to use a hybrid from such a, a short distance? Well, the thing about hybrids and modern day clubs and, and even fairway woods is that they are, they are hollow and they are springy. So you don't have to put as much effort into that distance, the, the distance that we've got here, that we might use with a putter. With a putter that are quite dead, dead in the head, we have to actually give it a right old whack up the hill, especially if we're going into a bit of grain or we're going into a bit of wet grass in the morning. So we're going to take out our hybrid and it's a, it is a hybrid, it's a hybrid shot. So that means we're going to half chip, half putt it. What does that mean? That means we're going to stand like a chip and we're going to move like we're holding a putter. So to, to play this shot, and this is just my preference as a player, and this is certainly what I teach as well, is that we're going to stand using our five rules, our basis of chipping, which is to stand more or less a shoe distance away from the ball, have the ball positioned off your back foot. We're going to open up our stance just a little bit. We're going to have the club place left and we're going to have our weight left as well. Now because this club's a lot longer than a putter or a, or a wedge, that means we may not even be holding the grip. Certainly as a right-handed golfer, we're going to have our right hand on the shaft completely. You might have some of your left hand hanging over the end of the grip here. If you're in the middle of winter and you're wearing a jacket or you're wearing a big heavy jumper, make sure that the club is away from your body, which now means, because we said that the, the fourth rule of chipping was hands left, that club's well away from my body. I'm actually going to take my putting grip to remind me that we're making a putting motion. And we're going to go in, we're going to play the five rules. So we're a shoe distance from the ball, the ball is positioned off my right foot. My feet are aiming a little bit left of target, but the shoulders are in line with, with target. Hands are left, weight's left. Now we're going to go ahead and make a putting motion and hit it up the hill here. Okay, now it's rolled up the hill just nicely. And I've hit that pin high, so I'm really happy with that. So anything that's pin high in short game is great. Accuracy, yeah, we'd all love to be accurate, but distance control is what we're after. As you can see there, I only made a very small swing to get that, that ball to go about 25 metres. So it's a, a very, very easy way to go about uh, playing some short game shots. If the ball's sitting poorly and you're riding against the grain or it's, or it's sitting down in a little depression or an old divot, very, very easy club to get out of. There's really not that much that can go wrong. So it really will help your confidence and will really help your consistency of producing results, which is what we're after. Doesn't have to look pretty. You don't have to be fancy and do the big fancy flop shot from here. Pull out your hybrid, pull out your three wood, stand like you're chipping, play it like a putt, practice it a little bit so you get to know how much spring effect you're getting off your club head because all club heads are a little bit different but most of these should be quite springy. We hope that helps with your confidence and we hope that helps with your results.